In this video, I'm gonna talk about the Model X consumption with trailers. So in the first test, I checked out some caravans. They are pretty heavy and long, and they also have large frontal area and they're very tall. But despite that, they're actually pretty aerodynamic. I think they were made to be slick. Uh, but still, they have the highest consumption of all. So the next one is Bolt. So the Bolt, uh, at least the ones I pulled, wasn't too heavy. Uh, they have somewhat small frontal area and kind of pointy, but the consumption was still high. And I believe that it has to do with bad aerodynamics. You know, it's not that smooth and then the back is kind of like sharp. So the Bolt was designed for water, not you know, on land. So that's why. So we're still kind of high. Now I also pulled a large enclosed trailer, so it wasn't too heavy, but the the, the space inside was freaking huge. Uh, but that one, as you can see, has a large and boxy frontal area and also the back. But unlike the boat, it has smooth sides, so the consumption was you know kind of high, but uh, not the worst you know, considering how much stuff you could haul with it. And then if you step down to the medium enclosed trailer, it was a lot lighter. Uh, you can of course uh, pull less items in there, but again, as expected, consumption is you know lower. And then, as a third test, I tested like a really flat trailer, so it was almost as flat as you see here. Uh, but you can put like stuff on top of it, like bicycles or roof rack or cargo box or whatever. Uh, but the point is, if you don't put anything there, then it will be behind the slipstream of the car. So the consumption barely goes up anything. And you know, despite it looks kind of small, but it can take about one cubic meter of uh, cargo, and that's pretty much what you can put in the car, also. So you know, to extend uh, your luggage space, yeah, that could be a good deal. And as I said earlier, you can put bicycle stuff in there, but then of course you have to expect the consumption to go up more. Now, Optimus Prime's trailer, I would consider it a medium-sized uh, trailer. It's also lightweight and closed trailer, but it has a roof that can be open. And in that way, this one is not too high, it's like one meter, a little over one meter, about four feet, but because you can open the roof, you can actually stand up there. And that one is mostly behind the slipstream of the car, but still there are some parts which will <laughs> kind of, you know, not get the drag. So the consumption is somewhat high, but of course the cargo space is big. So as for me, yeah, it's a good deal when I haul big items, lots of items in the task. So you have now the empty horse trailer. I didn't have any horses in there, which is probably a good deal, but the horse trailer was fairly light, uh, but uh, horses are tall, so also the trailer has to be tall. And it was kind of short, uh, but the aerodynamics was very poor. It was somewhat point, like, you know, they, it kind of looked a little bit aerodynamic, but once I started driving it, I was like, what the heck? Yeah, <laughs> very poor aerodynamics. And adding some horses in there would probably bring up the consumption slightly more. I'll come back to that soon about weight. So the heaviest load was a car on a trailer. So it was the heaviest of them all, pretty much close to the max, almost 5,000 pounds, 2,200 and something kilos. And I had a Land Rover on it. And as you can see, the Land Rover is not the most aerodynamic car. So, um, I mean, the consumption was actually not that high despite its weight. Um, but I would uh, expect that if you have like a more, you know, like, like a sedan or something, then the consumption would be better. Yeah. And um, as a summary, I would say that, you know, the weight and the length has very little influence. But the weight will actually count when you go uphill and you stay uphill. Because you have to, well, this is about, you know, um, potential energy when going. Uh, getting gaining elevation, but then if you go downhill, you get about 80% of the energy back. You can actually regen as, I mean, as long as the downhill is not too steep, then you will actually regen most of the energy back. If it's too steep, you have to step on the brakes, then of course you lose that energy. So the big killer on range here is drag. That's what I've seen in all these uh, close, uh, the, the trailers that drag is what kills the range. It, the le the weight has like like very little influence on the consumption, but also uh, the shape of the the trailer also counts. So it has to be like smooth sides and also a, like aerodynamic front and aerodynamic end that will help a lot. Like you see, you know the. 
the caravan is freaking huge, but still they made it aerodynamic. So if they made it like a boxy trailer, then I guess it would be really bad. Okay, and as for uh, uh, additional uh, comments is that these trailers, some of them are heavy, some of them are like large and long, and you know, there are plenty of power for acceleration, for overtakes and whatever. It, like it drives unlike any fossil car I have used, like the transporter, oh, yeah. <laughs> so it's really fast. But as you can see, the consumption is like 50 to 100% more. So if you want to haul some stuff and you want to go far, then a chatbot adapter is highly recommended. But then you can uh, charge to let's say 90% at the supercharger and then the, the 90 to 100% takes very long. So just top up at the charge more halfway because those legs will be kind of slow anyway because you have to drive slower. All right, I guess that's it for now.